they've knocked us off twice now and um, sort of a bit of the same feeling coming out of round one as it was um, this week. Still some positive signs. Um, we met some things that, um, you know, in our KPIs that, that, we, that we hit, but um, obviously we didn't get the win. So uh, frustrating, but looking forward to the challenge um, when we play next time. Do you feel a bit far off? Uh, not far at all. Um, if we had to capitalise on um, some of our opportunities, we probably would have been right in it. So um, we probably shot ourselves in the foot a little bit there. A lot of inside 50s, but not enough goals in the end. Without uh, Jack there, has it changed the way you look at when you're going forward? Where you're going to kick ball to and who you're going to kick ball to? Um, not necessarily, no, because you know we back every player that we we bring in. So um, last week it was Jared Brander, um, and look, I'm I'm not too sure what we're going to do going forward this week. But um, look, we back our players in to play the same role that that JD does, and um, the influence that JD's had on on the contest. Uh, this year has been phenomenal. So, um, look, it's one of those things where uh, you'd love to have him in the team, but obviously, due to injury, we, we can't. But um, we still back our players to come through and play a similar type of role. How do you solve that issue of the, the youngsters in that forward line? Because there's no quick fix, obviously. You can't just pump 50 games into them, and Jack's still on the sideline. So, how do you go about creating a, a more experienced forward line there in, in Jack's absence? Yeah, it's quite tough. I think it's obviously just comes down to games and um, comes down to role base. So um, them being able to perform um, at their best and being able to execute their role to the best of their ability, um, it comes down to that. So um, I guess it's it's probably doing their homework at, at East Perth and and then being able to sort of bring it when they come up and, and play some some games for us. What is it about the Swans that makes them particularly hard to match up on? And obviously the only two losses this year, but what is it about them that makes them so difficult? Oh, their defence is really good. So, um, yeah, for us to have 63 inside 50s and not being able to um, capitalise as well, um, I felt their backs played um, a pretty good brand of football. So, but it wasn't just that; it was their team defence as well that probably, um, as well, for us, um, probably made it a little bit difficult. Short week this week. How do you sort of get on the training today, and then uh, what, maybe one more? And what's it? What's the short week look like for you? Yeah. So today we'll have a light little run around, and tomorrow we'll be training. Um, so it's yeah one of those six day turnaround with a with a um, with a uh, you know away game coming through. So it's very light this week and um, you know probably a bit more meetings and actual running around on the park. So um, yeah, just got to make do and, and take care of the body. Jack, we looked quite sore in the end of the game. We know he's had Achilles issues. What do you think his chances are of playing this week? Oh, I think yeah, I think he should be okay. Um, I haven't heard anything at this stage though. So. Um, a lot of players pull up sore after games, but um, yeah, generally most times they get up. So I haven't heard anything at this stage about JK. So um, I've only just rocked up to the club not that long ago. So um, we had yesterday off, but I haven't heard anything at this stage. What's he been like after games? Like, does he normally have massive ice packs on his Achilles? Or... He always has ice packs on him. He's a contested player, so he's always got some sort of ice pack on somewhere. So um, yeah, I think it's just one of those ones where he pulled up a little bit sore, but um, I think he should be okay. Yeah. How desperate you need him there, given that you know Jack Darling's still out and it is a very young forward line. Yeah, look, if um, if he does go out, I'd, I'm not saying that he, he will or anything like that. I haven't heard anything, um, but yeah, it's going to be um, a bit of a void. But um, it gives opportunity for some um, young kids to sort of step up and come through. A win against Essendon and we'll put you back on top. Is that a motivator for this group? Oh, I don't think it is. No, I don't think top of the ladder is a motivator at all. I think winning is more the motivator. So. Um, being on top of the ladder is, yeah, it's great, but um, look, it's, I guess it's the old cliche, but um, we like to win every game. So uh, losing the city on the weekend wasn't ideal, but um, we want to come away with a win and rectify a bit of last week. After winning so many in a row, is it a reminder of how much you hate losing when you, when you finally got one? Yeah, it was a little bit. I'm, personally, I hate losing. I'm not a big fan of it. So, um, But yeah, it's one of those ones where I guess having the six day turnaround, it gives you that sort of quick um, turnaround in order to rectify on the weekend. So, um, and look, there's a couple of things coming away that we needed to work on. Um, so it definitely sort of, it helps a little bit. So you're glad it's a six day break after the loss? Absolutely, yeah. And it's better than an eight day break. It sits on your mind a little bit too more. You yeah. mentioned before that you'd love the chance to take on Sydney again in the finals if it happens. What's it like when a team has a bit of wood over you? Are there any scars going into the next match or? What's that like as a player? I don't think there's any scars, no. Nah, I think it's um, just one of those ones where it's probably a little bit more frustrating because um, personally I feel that um, 
you know, we probably should have won and we probably should have won in round one um, if we had to capitalise. So it's just a bit frustrating. So um, the confidence and the belief is there uh, that we can beat them and we can take it up to them. It's just a matter of being able to execute it. Uh, you were exceptional on Friday night. Have you got desires or aspirations to sort of be considered a, um, like a real elite A grader in the likes of a danger field, a Martin or a fight? Um, not necessarily. I don't really look at it like that. I think for me personally, I just try and play my role for the team um, and, and play that to my best of my ability. So um, it's not like I, um, you know, think about that at all, but you definitely study these players and um, take sort of um, bits and, and spurts from different players and, and you learn from them to try and help you become a better footballer. So, um, yeah, it's not something that you know, sits on, on the mind too much. So when you say you want to become better, I mean, some have considered that you, you have similar traits to a player like in that fight. Where is the improvement for you to come from there? Oh, there's definitely certain things that I can improve on. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them here, um, otherwise I'd be giving away a couple of my weaknesses and a couple of my strengths as well, but um, I'm not here to really talk about myself as a, as a footballer. It's more of a, a collective effort and, um, yeah, not something yeah, that I want to sort of touch into too much. Do you consider yourself a, an A grader at the moment, though, with the, with the form you have been in? It's a pretty loaded question, isn't it? <laughs> uh, if I say no, then yeah, but if I say yes, it's one of those ones where I come across as, yeah, I'm not going to answer that one. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Just uh, looking at the Bombers, what have you made of them this season? Uh, look, they've been a little bit up and down with their form and um, they had a little good spurt um, not that long ago in, in a couple of wins. So, um, yeah, look, and, and obviously, um, Wish is going to be coming back and, and want to have a win, um, you know, for uh, in his home state. So it's one of those ones where they're going to be coming over and um, putting their best foot forward, and, and so will we. So um, should be a good, tough contest. If it is raining on, on Thursday night, how do you think you guys will go? How do you think you're playing the wet weather? Oh, look, there's plenty of times there where, um, where as you see throughout the week, we have the um, footies out in the wet water. So um, look, it's one of those ones where we're, um, you know. Hopefully it's it's not raining, but if it is, then um, hopefully we're uh, you know I've done our homework throughout the week and we're able to um, implement that in the game. Is that important? Do you just to constantly try and win Uh It does help, yeah. Um, it's more sort of the night games as well that come through um, and it gets like a little bit dewy. Sort of helps a little bit with the touch, so um, it does help. Is this water in there, or have you got some other? Like oh, that's that's Hicks. Like that's Hicks concoction. So you can ask him um, next time you see him. I'm not sure what he's got going on there. Do you prefer the wet weather or the, or the dry days? Uh, I just love football, so any weather. So, yeah, it's a little bit more, as you can see now, it's <laughs> humming down, but um, yeah, I love it. Anywhere to get sort of in and under, um, yeah, it's no issue. Yeah, just a quick one of uh, your mate Scott Lyson. How do you think his season's tracked so far, considering he's probably played one game in two seasons? What do you reckon? Uh, phenomenal so far, um, obviously coming off his knee uh, and his shoulder as well last season. Um, to be able to sort of um, have the impact that he's had this season is unbelievable. So I guess that sort of shows that having a good strong pre-season coming through can definitely help. So uh, I feel that he's been able to play um, his role to the best of his ability. How do you feel about Thursday night for you? Looking forward to it. So um, yeah, it's... I'd, whether it's Thursday night or Saturday night or Sunday afternoon, it's one of those ones where I just look forward to playing football. And as I said before, the six day break um, definitely comes at a good time. You touched on the Bombers being a bit sort of uh, flaky up and down a bit with their form. What are their sort of strengths? Because they look like with a Hurley and a Hooker, they're pretty good at the keys, but they've got a decent midfield. What's their sort of strength or what, what's their biggest challenge for you guys? Oh, look, their midfield is definitely one of the um, things that's probably a bit of a danger. So um, they've got a fair bit of talent in there, and once they get going, if they get the ball in their hands quite early, then um, they can be quite damaging. So, um, look, it's I guess it's a little bit of a cliche, but it's going to be a good midfield battle. But um, there's certainly a fair few um, backs as well that for them that are pretty good as well. So it um, should be a good, tough contest.